our work on, on mouse models. So, so I'm focused, my, my lab is focused on um, cancer models for, for lung or thoracic cancers, I should say. So, so we are interested in some of the, the, the typical subtypes that we find. And um, so in the lung cancers, you have more or less three major ones, which is the, the adenocarcinomas, the squamous cell carcinomas and the small cell lung cancer. And um, we do most of the work on small cell and the squamous cell carcinomas. And so what we are interested in is to, um, to generate models in the mouse that really closely mimic what we see in humans. Because in the mouse we can study how the tumor starts, you know, how, they, how it evolves over time. We would like to know from what what is the cell of origin of these tumors, so that we really know how this tumor development works. Because in humans, you know, we, we always are encountering patients that have already usually advanced tumors. I mean, that's the reason why the prognosis for uh, lung cancer patients is is so bad. And so we will like would like to know what are the initial phases. Does that teach us new markers that could be used for early diagnosis? Uh, does it help us to, to design combination therapies that might be more successful? Because it's very complicated to do that in uh, advanced disease in, in, in humans. And so, um, so we do a lot of, you know, let's say quite basic uh, cell biology or tumor biology on those tumors, how they develop, how heterogeneous they are, how they become metastatic, and uh, that we can study in, 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 in the mouse very well and in a very fi defined conditions. Well, I think it's, it's at the moment it, it's, it's too early. We, of course, we all hope that, but you know, the question is, you have to understand the system. You know, you know, of course, the desire to to help patients is 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 enormous, and it, I, I'm sure that every basic investigator, that would be great if he could see that what he did as, as research had uh, was benefiting patients. But at the same time, you know, just that desire is not enough. You have to understand the biology in order to do something useful. And I think what we try to do is what we the things we see in the mouse, we try to correlate in first instance in, in, in humans. In, in other words, is if we see abnormalities there, then the question is, do we see that in humans as well? And if one applies or tries certain therapies in the mouse, would that also work in, 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 in patients? And that's what a stage, what we do a lot, like, like you know, screens, so to say, to find out what might be the weak points of these, these mouse tumors that so much resemble the human tumors. And if we find their combinations, we, because we partly do that type of screens, we cannot all do that in mice. So we do that also in cell lines derived from these mice. And so once we have combinations, then we will move it into the mouse models. And if that would be successful, that would be the moment that we would move it into to, to human uh, clinical trials. But the other side effect might be, and, and we see some of that, that we, we, we find markers that, uh, that have prognostic value, for example, or predictive value, so that might predict this, this responding to, to, to particular therapy and so on. So we are also eager to look at those aspects and uh, because for some of the lung cancers, it would really be great if you, you know, if you would have an easy test uh, and, uh, and, and also identify people at risk. Now, well, smokers are obviously at risk, but the problem is, you know, early, early lesions, are they going to be malignant or not? I mean, it's a major issue. So you very easily, uh, if you don't have really good biomarkers, you, you end up with an enormous over treatment, you know, and the examples are already there, you know, over treatment of breast cancer, over treatment of prostate cancer, and and interestingly, this over treatment 
not necessarily uh, results in less um, less people or, or, mo- or more people surviving. I mean, so it just causes more misery. So that's uh, something we have to be careful about.